We have learned magnetic field lines due to current carrying straight conductor so far. We also know that due to science, there is no limit to think. If a magnetic field can be possessed in a current carrying straight conductor, then what will happen if we put a circular loop in place of a straight conductor? When the electric current is passed through the loop, the pattern starts to form here too. The pattern is similar to the former one in some ways and different in others. Yes, fillings are forming the circular patterns but because of the loop, two circular patterns are being formed. If we apply the right hand thumb rule here, then we can get the direction of magnetic field lines easily. At the surface, current is flowing in the upward direction, then the fingers wrapping the conductor will tell the direction of the field lines. At the surface, current is flowing in the downward direction, then field lines will be in this direction. As we move away from the conductor, the size of the pattern increases. It will be a straight line as we move at the center. This is the case with the power magnets too. What will happen if you look at the apparatus from behind? The direction of the current will be reversed. And the field lines too will be in the opposite direction than the former. The side of the loop will work as the south pole where the field lines are seen going inwards. And the side where the field lines are seen coming outwards will work as the north pole. The direction can be remembered easily using this method. If the current is flowing in the clockwise direction, then that side will be the south pole. It can be remembered by the arrows formed on the S. If the current is flowing in anti-clockwise direction, then this side will act as the north pole. It is denoted by N. I hope you will never forget the concept of these north and south poles. You must be thinking what was the reason behind understanding the circular loop. You will get to know the reason by the end of this video. What will happen if you take a number of loops and make a coil out of it in place of a single loop? This coil in terms of science is known as solenoid. If we apply electricity through the solenoid, then iron fillings will make the pattern here too. That means there are magnetic fields too. To find the direction of the field lines, we will look at the direction of current at both the sides. On this side, the current is flowing in clockwise direction. That means this will be the south pole of the solenoid based on the rule we learned before. On this side, the current is flowing in an anti-clockwise direction. That means this will be the north pole of the solenoid. In this way, we can see the field lines easily. If you look closely at the image, it will make us remember the power magnet. So can we make a magnet with the help of a solenoid? Yes, this is possible. If we put a soft iron core in the solenoid and put on the electricity, then this iron core will work as the magnet only. The magnets formed with the help of electricity are known as electromagnets. These electromagnets are used in various appliances like fans, electric motors, washing machines and generators. By this video we have learnt about the current carrying circular loop and solenoid. How to make an electromagnet with the help of the solenoid. But how to use electromagnets in appliances like motors. We'll learn about this in upcoming videos after understanding Fleming's left hand rule.